Yajna Velka Yajna Velka, Sanskrit, Yajna Velka, was a Hindu Vedic sage. He is mentioned in the Upanishads, and likely lived in the Vidya kingdom of northern Bihar approximately between the 8th century BCE, and the 7th century BCE. Yajna Velka is considered one of the earliest philosophers in recorded history, after Aruni. Yajna Velka proposes and debates metaphysical questions about the nature of existence and impermanence, and expounds the epistemic doctrine of neti neti, not this, not this, to discover the universal self and Atman. His ideas for renunciation of worldly attachments have been important to Hindu Sanyasa traditions. Yajna Valkya is credited for coining Advaita, non-dual, monism, another important tradition within Hinduism. Texts attributed to him, include the Yajna Valkya Smriti, Yoga Yajna Valkya and some texts of the Vedanta school. He is also mentioned in various Brahmanas and Aranyakas. He welcomed participation of women in Vedic studies, and Hindu texts contain his dialogues with two women philosophers, Gargi Vaikaknavi and Maitreyi. History Yanya Valkya is estimated to have lived in around the 8th century BCE, or 7th century BCE. In the Brihadaranyaka Upanishad, a set of dialogues suggest Yajna Valkya has two wives, one Maitreyi who challenges Yajna Valkya with philosophical questions like a scholarly wife the other Katyayani who is silent but mentioned as a housewife. While Yajna Valka and Katyayani lived in contented domesticity, Maitreyi studied metaphysics and engaged in theological dialogues with her husband in addition to making self-inquiries of introspection. In contrast to the Brihadaranyaka Upanishad, the epic Mahabharata states Maitreyi is a young beauty who is an Advaita scholar but never marries. His name Yajna Valka is derived from Yajna which connotes ritual. However, states Fritz Stahl, Yajna Valkya was a thinker, not a ritualist. Texts Yajna Valkya is associated with several other major ancient texts in Sanskrit, namely the Shukla Yajurveda, the Shatapatha Brahmana, the Brihadaranyaka Upanishad, the Dharmasastra named Yajna Valkya Samardhi, Vrita Yajna Valkya, and Brihad Yajna Valkya. He is also mentioned in the Mahabharata and the Puranas, as well as in ancient Jainism texts such as the Isabasi Aim. Another important and influential yoga text in Hinduism is named after him, namely Yoga Yajna Valkya, but its author is unclear. The actual author of Yoga Yajna Valkya text was probably someone who lived many centuries after the Vedic sage Yajna Valkya, and is unknowing Yajna Valkya was father, Vajasaneya was his biological son, who wrote or explained Yoga Yajna Valkya in writings to his descendants. Ian Witcher, a professor of religion at the University of Manitoba, states that the author of Yoga Yajna Valkya may be an ancient Yajna Valkya, but this Yajna Valkya is not to be confused with the Vedic Ari Yajna Valkya who is revered in Hinduism for Brihadaranyaka Upanishad. According to Vishwanath Narayan Mandlik, these references to Yajna Valkya in other texts, in addition to the eponymous Yoga Yajna Valkya, may be to different sages with the same name. Ideas On Karma and Rebirth one of the early expositions of karma and rebirth theories appear in the discussions of Yajna Valkya. Max Muller and Paul Usen, in their respective translations, describe the Upanishad's view of soul, self and free, liberated state of existence as, is imperishable, for he cannot perish, he is unattached, for he does not attach himself, unfettered, he does not suffer, he does not fail. He is beyond good and evil, and neither what he has done, nor what he has omitted to do, affects him. He therefore who knows it, becomes quiet, subdued, satisfied, patient, and collected. He sees self in self, sees all as self. Evil does not overcome him, he overcomes all evil. Evil does not burn him, he burns all evil. Free from evil, free from spots, free from doubt, he became Atman Brahmana, this is the Brahma world, O King, thus spoke Yajna Valkya. On Spiritual Liberation the section 4.3 of the Brihadaranyaka Upanishad is attributed to Yajna Valkya, and it discusses the premises of moksha, liberation, freedom, and provides some of its most studied hymns. Paul Dusan calls it, unique in its richness and warmth of presentation, with profoundness that retains its full worth in modern times. Dot. On Love and Soul The Maitreyi Yajna Valkya dialogue of Brihadaranyaka Upanishad states that love is driven by a person's soul, and it discusses the nature of Atman and Brahman and their unity the core of Advaita philosophy. The Maitreyi Yajna Valkya dialogue has survived in two manuscript recensions from the Madhyamdina and Kanva Vedic schools, although they have significant literary differences, they share the same philosophical theme. This dialogue appears in several Hindu texts, 
the earliest is in chapter 2.4, and modified in chapter 4.5, of the Brihad Aranyaka Upanishad, one of the principal and oldest Upanishads. Adi Shankara, a scholar of the influential Advaita Vedanta school of Hindu philosophy, wrote in his Brihad Aranyaka Upanishad Bhashya that the purpose of the Maitreyi Yajna Valkya dialogue in chapter 2.4 of the Brihad Aranyaka Upanishad is to highlight the importance of the knowledge of Atman and Braham, and to understand their oneness. According to Shankara, the dialogue suggests renunciation is prescribed in the Sruti, Vedic texts of Hinduism, as a means to knowledge of the Braham and Atman. He adds, that the pursuit of self-knowledge is considered important in the Sruti because the Maitreyi dialogue is repeated in chapter 4.5 as a logical finale to the discussion of Braham and the Upanishad. Concluding his dialogue on the inner self, or soul, Yajnavalkya tells Maitreyi. After Yajnavalkya leaves and becomes a sannyasi, Maitreyi becomes a sannyasani, she too wanders and leads a renunciate's life.